Welcome back to the Lynn Miller Room. On this edition of the Eagle Sports Coaches Show, we're joined by Tom Hodges, women's basketball coach at Moorhead State University. You're happy to be here, aren't you? I'm, I'm like Dolly Parton. I'm just so proud to be here, Jay. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning and snowy Moorhead. What do they say? A little... Little white on the roof just means there's a fire in the furnace. So we're oh, okay. uh, we're proud to be here, and uh, it's a good good time of year. Good time to be an eagle. Yes, I mean, it is. what a weekend for eagle athletics. Well, um, and especially eagle women athletics. Uh, the women of Moorhead really uh, uh, proved themselves uh, very well this weekend. So a lot to be proud of. Well, you get uh, two season opening wins. Norfolk State here at home. Then you go on the road sat, uh, Sunday and uh, down by 16 in the second half, and you come back to beat Lipscomb in overtime. Uh, you know, we talked about it on the post game. These are two games probably in previous years we'd had a much tough time winning, but we yeah. did win. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you've sat through those. I've sat through those. Our, our players have been through those. Uh, I just couldn't be any prouder after two games of, you know, it's kind of the same song, different verse type of thing. But – uh, to face those type of adverse situations, uh, to withstand uh, teams' runs, you know, against Norfolk, we got the big lead, and then they ran it back at us uh, and cut into the deficit against Lipscomb. Uh, we were facing a big deficit and just slowly but surely uh, stayed to our plan and chipped away at it. So uh, I told them after the game, both games, you know, we've been on the wrong side of those. So to be on the right side is a good feeling. Now uh, we've got to remember that feeling and really build upon it, not just be happy that it happened, but build upon it. Um, so if we ever face that situation again, which I'm sure we will over the course of, the, of this year, we'll, we'll be prepared. Now we had to get special permission as we go into the overtime session Absolutely. With, with, with the coaching interview. And we had to get special permission because if people right now will flick from 96.3 to 97. Seven. Just a couple clicks up on the radio yeah. knob. We are on both at this same time because the coaches show is airing. Mass the communicating. The mass game communicating. Is going on. So your takeover of radio airwaves in Kentucky yeah. has started. It, it, it's coming. It's coming. Soon you'll be on as many stations. It's snowing as outside. You can. It's snowing outside, but the snowball is it's, going on right here. Right here, fans. We're rolling downhill. We're bringing it live action to the how, masses. I don't know how you worked that out. You know, I don't want to know your secrets. Yeah. You know, Jeff Ray and Hayes and Ian Corbin and all the people over there, you know, they might tell me a secret one day. But, you know, I don't know. I just got showed the paperwork from the FCC that said you're allowed on both stations at the same time. We're giving the people what they want. The people have written in. They've, they've sent their postcards. They've sent correspondence, emails, tweets. By the way, fans, if you'd like to follow us on Twitter, you can follow us at Coach Hodges right here on your screen. You can follow us on online that way. Or you can send an email. If you'd like to send an email to women's basketball staff, you can send it to t.hodges at moreheadstate.edu. Email's right here. Yeah. Daniel, thank you so much for providing that service for our, for our fans and our, our video graphics. We're well, one-stop yeah. shopping for yeah. all your Eagle needs right here. 545 will be the airtime. 97.7 WKCA will begin the Titanic struggle against Georgetown at six, uh, George Mason at 6 o'clock. If Georgetown came in, that had been a surprise to me. Tom Hodges, head coach of Moorhead State. We'll come back with more. This is the Eagle Sports Coaches Show.